Hello everybody, welcome back to the sixth episode of Prefectures of Japan. The series where we look into each of the 47 prefectures and what makes them unique. At the end of last week's episode, when we looked at the prefecture of Miyagi, I said, I will catch you guys next time when we look at why all the houses are radioactive. But disregard that because that's next week's prefecture. Today we'll be looking at Yamagata. <laughs> Yamagata is a part of the Japanese island of Honshu. It's in the Tohoku region, and it's located right here in the southwest corner facing the Sea of Japan. It shares a border with Akita, Miyagi, and Fukushima. The flag of Yamagata consists of three white stylized mountains on a blue background. The blue stands for desire for peace, and the white for snow, as well as purity of the people. Mountains are the symbol for this flag because Yamagata means mountain shape. It has a population of 1,079,950. Yamagata's economy features a concentration of technology-oriented companies, information, and telecommunications, but it's also Japan's largest producer of cherries and pears. A large quantity of many other fruits are also produced in this prefecture. Mieko Yoshimura is the governor of Yamagata. She was elected in 2009 and became the sixth female governor in Japanese history. Miyako is known for starting a campaign style when she publicly wore a huge red headdress shaped like a cherry while delivering a speech in the prefectural government building. She did this in order to strengthen the prefecture's power to send messages to the public. This inspired other government officials to do the same for their prefecture's fruit or bean of importance. Yamagata is also the name of the capital city, located in the mountainous southeast. It's known for the mysterious Mount Zhao, the stunning abundance of onsens, and having some amazing beef. 17% of the land in this prefecture is dedicated to national parks, including Kajo Park, the site of the former Yamagata Castle with the beautiful cherry blossom trees, and Nishizao Park, a charming little park with a beautiful lookout point. Yamadera is a major attraction in Yamagata. It's a temple that's been carved into the mountainside with stunning views of the Tachiya River Valley below it. Visitors must take a 30-minute hike up a trail to reach the temple. Every season holds amazing views, but the bright colors during autumn and the thick snowfall during winter are most popular. There are souvenir shops, restaurants, and even local ice cream waiting for you at the bottom. The Yamagata Hanagasa Festival is one of the major summer festivals in the Tohoku region. It takes place every year from August 5th through the 7th and draws in a million people over the three days. There's a parade for the festival deity, Zhao Gongin, over 10,000 dancers in costume with hanagasa, or flower hats, and multiple different types of dances, which you can actually participate in. Every year during the cold winter months, a winter phenomenon occurs in Yamagata. Juyo, or snow monsters, are trees on the mountainsides that have become encased in snow. Every one of these snow monsters are uniquely shaped by strong winds and thick layers of snow and ice, which create almost lifelike figures. These are popular at the famous Mount Zhao Ski Resort, where some people ski in between them. Ginzan Onsen, meaning Silver Mountain Hot Spring, is a hot spring town hidden in the mountains of Yamagata. The town was originally built around a silver mine, but is now known as one of the prettiest onsen towns in all of Japan. There are historic rokon, or Japanese-style hotels, lined down the narrow streets. There's two public baths and a public foot bath around the town center, and the Rokons offer their own private baths that are usually historical. I want to go here very badly. The experience would be amazing. At night, there's even these gas-burning street lamps that illuminate the whole town. Like, oh my gosh, just look. Look at this. Look at this place. There's also a trail that leads up into the valley past the waterfall where you can explore the former silver mines. This town alone makes me want to live in this prefecture. The climate in Yamagata consists of long humid summers and long snowy winters. Spring and autumn are shorter, but both are dry and sunny. Remnants of one or two typhoons usually pass through between August and October. Some famous dishes from this prefecture include Yonezawa beef, which is one of the most famous varieties of beef in Japan. It can be found in many dishes throughout the prefecture. The marbling of the fat is well balanced and creates a melt in your mouth texture. This is due to the good care and love given to the cows. 
right before we kill and eat them. Imoni is a simmer dish that consists of taro potatoes and beef or fish in a soy sauce based broth. Traditionally, people gather around riverbanks and enjoy it for events. There's even a festival called Omoni Kai Festival where imoni is made in huge pots. Hiyashi ramen is a cold ramen, sometimes served with ice cubes and topped with summer ingredients. Common toppings include cucumbers, green onions, seaweed, and pork. Cherries are included in many dishes and desserts, and cherry parfaits are the most popular. The Yamagata Shinkansen Line connects Yamagata to Tokyo and is a part of the Tohoku Shinkansen Line. There are many stops on the route from Yamagata to Tokyo, and local trains are present in the prefecture as well. The Yamagata Airport is a regional airport and is located in Higashine. It has a two-story terminal with two boarding gates and a rooftop observation deck. The Shonai Airport is a smaller airport and is located in Sakata. I think this may be my favorite prefecture so far. While researching information and pictures, I just, I got this feeling that was just like... I also came across this YouTube channel called Stay Yamagata, which seems to be an official channel for promoting the prefecture. The videos are all two to four minutes long and display prime locations and things to do in Yamagata during all four seasons. Each season has its own part one and two videos with the same group or a couple of people. These videos have crazy good quality and the actors are always having so much fun. Like, way too much fun. How, how can you have this much fun? They give you a real feeling of urgency to immediately get on a plane and go to Yamagata. This is probably another reason why I fell for the prefecture. They did an amazing job, especially compared to Miyagi's prefecture video. These are the things I found interesting about the prefecture of Yamagata. Special thanks to my friends in Japan who sent some beautiful pictures of this prefecture. Big thank you to EQ1 for joining the wolf pack by supporting me on Patreon. You are officially a wolf. In real life, you're a real wolf. That is all for now, but I will catch you guys next time where we look at why all the houses are radioactive, but for real this time.